بسم الله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله اوكي ليتس ستارت ذا سكند سيشن ذا ثيرد سيشن اباوت ذا اباوت ذا بروجكت ميكاترون توداي وي ار تراي تو سي اند يوز سام تشيزل بروجرامين اوكي فيرست ثينك فيرست ليتس تراي تو كومبايل And execute some chisel programming. <clears throat> okay, the first thing uh, to compile a chisel code, you will normally need okay to compile. The first thing first, you have to use this instruction. The val path is equal to system gets property, etc., etc. Uh, did you use it before? Start very. No. Okay. This is the first uh, instruction. The first instruction to compile. You have to use this. I don't know if it's visible yet or not on the uh, on the stream. This is it. This is it. Val path is equal uh, to system point get property uh, use directory plus source load the ev point cs and interpret dot load dot module etc etc. We have two instruction. You have to first to compile them. This is uh, the first thing to do. You have to compile them and. Uh, the uh, the compiler will download some will download uh, chisel the uh, the library of chisel some module uh, necessary to compile in chisel okay after that this is the first thing okay let's try it in uh, an empty uh, i will try it on an empty uh, an empty execution Okay, let's see here. Where can I get? Okay. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, we have the chisel boot line, boot code, sorry. Okay, I will try an empty Scala code, like this. I will pass this code and compile it. It will take some time. Okay, you will compile it. This is the first thing to do. Uh, did you understand? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's good. Genius. Ah, now, now you'll see it's compiling. It's downloading some, uh, some modules, uh, chisel modules, and compiling them. Uh, Okay, we take some time. <coughs> okay. I think it's finished here. He finished the compilation. Let's take now the second part of the code to use is to, I don't exactly remember, uh, we have to uh, get the imports. We have uh, five imports line. 
we have to add the imports okay we will add the imports here and compile again okay we have the imports now we imported uh, chisel 3 uh, chisel 3 util tester tester etc etc and after that we will need uh, to create a module an empty module this is an empty module it's not an empty module it's a simple module and let's compile it just to see okay and we have and we have the module compiled this way we have a class you know that uh, the module as defined as a class this is a class in Scala and using the uh, the concepts of uh, orient programming uh, object orient programming uh, and that's all now you can do whatever you want we have this simple instruction we have our input and our out output we have one input one output in this definition and we have uh, uh, to put our code here to code our code here for instance we can implement a small multiplexer I told you about the multiplexer the last time uh, the multiplexer okay let's see it it's a simple instruction okay the multiplexer is uh, defined this way Using mux, uh, I guess mux. Yes, this one. No, it's not here. I don't remember exactly when I saw where I saw the uh, a multiplexer. A simple uh, social multiplexer. A multiplexer of uh, two uh, inputs. Two inputs. I think it's here. I don't remember. A multiplexer is mux, the keyword mux. I remember the keyword mux. Okay, let's find it. Find mux. <coughs> this is it. This is the simple way, this is a simple way to define a, a multiplexer. It's very simple. Here we have here. Let's try it. We have here a simple instruction to define a multiplexer. You can save this for instance. Okay, don't have S. If is, for instance, I can say uh, one, one point u, point u, and that's all. Okay, let's compile. Do we have problem? Ah, out. Okay, I have out here. Okay, let's compile. Uh, it's a boolean. I forgot. It's a boolean. It's a boolean. It should be true, I guess. True like this. I don't remember the boolean. Find. Be. Okay. True. Okay, true be like this. And this is done. We created uh, a module, uh, a simple multiplexer module, which is not 
the the real multiplexer is just demonstration of on how to use a max. Okay, uh, can I get your code? Yes. Uh, for it. Hmm? Yes, I have uh, a code for to use and I will send you the cut. Okay, in, in general, in general, you can uh, pass it in the yes. yes. Okay, imports chisel, and you have the module. Okay, let's pass it like this. Okay, what we have here, we have Mux A to two extend module. Yes, it's a module. Uh, so okay. this this code uh, for uh, multiplexer uh, eight one. Eight one. Okay. Yes. We have. Uh, uh, one uh, what w why did you choose w in one two you have select with a uh, width w is uh, for width Yes, yes. Wait. Yes, yeah, wait. Uh, you mean uh, one bit? One bit width. Yes, this is correct. And you have. Uh, yes, one bit. Okay. And you have a select input uh, and signed int and the three inputs. Yes. Output one of. Yes, it's correct. The, uh, the first part is correct. And for the output, uh, normally we have. Uh, uh, for the execution, you have uh, IO output get. Uh, Max lookup. Ah, you choose the, to use an array. Yes, array. Okay. And we have. Uh... Sir, uh, yeah. can you uh, use a vector? Vector. Uh... Vectors. Uh... Yes. Uh, vectors. You you mean uh, arrays? Yes. Vectors. Mm. And normally, I'm not sure, but normally you can do that. An array is uh, an array. It's uh, it's uh, the same thing uh, as vector, I guess. I'm not sure. To be uh, to be uh, to be honest, I'm not uh, very uh, uh, confident with uh, the Scala and the, this new language. But normally, it, it should uh, it should be uh, correct. We have the array. Okay. Look up. Add selection. And you have the this array. Okay. And object. I've generated the very log code by invoking the driver. Okay, let's compile it just to see. Yes, they are defined. They are created. Your code is correct, but you have we have to test it now. We have to test it to be true, uh, to be correct or not. Uh, to test it, we need to use. Uh, uh, I don't know if you uh, saw that before. We need to use some mechanism to test our circuit. For instance, for testing combinational circuit, we have this. Do you know that? Uh, each time we create, I don't know. Uh, uh, each time we create a circuit, we need to test it. 
This is uh, this is the rule in uh, digital design. It's not uh, specific to Shizzle. Even very long, you have to t test each time your um, your code. Okay, let's try to uh, test this code. I saw some. Okay, let's let's take this. This is a way to test uh, the circuit. Okay, if you put this, for instance, uh, our class is uh, is uh, mix a to one. Okay, and uh, we uh, we need to give uh, some input. Set our input to value zero. Uh, our inputs we have the three inputs. Have the three inputs which we uh, need to select the the cell cell input to select the cell input we need to use this okay we have uh, uh, C input cell poke and give the value uh, zero for instance at the same time we need to uh, to do it again okay let's delete this just to be sure we are not doing it wrong okay Okay, and let's take for instance the other uh, the other inputs. Other inputs we have we have int zero in zero sorry in zero okay we have one two three Four, five, six, seven, seven, six, and we expect the output. Uh, the name of output is out. Okay. Expect out to be uh, to be. One, if we do this, for instance. Okay. Normally, it's it is a simple simple test. It's not it's not difficult. It's not a very uh, advanced test. It's very simple. Let's see if it works. Okay, we got some errors. Success, zero test, pass it in one cycle. Out zero uh, did not equal to expectation. Test. Okay. Ah, okay, sorry. Select should be zero. We will try to uh, to poke the first line on the multiplexer, and we will put the value one. We expect the output to be one. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, success. Yes, uh, normally your uh, code is working. We have to test all the inputs. Anyway, let's try the, uh, the second one, for instance. If uh, we take the second entrance. We, are, we have zero here. We need to put zero on the output. Test it again. Yes, success. And we, if we put it to one, and the output to one. Yes, normally it's working. Uh, have you question about this? 
about the test? Did you understand the test? How it works? Yes, yes, I understand. It's, uh, I think it's, it's clear. It's, it's, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Just to explain, yes. okay. Just to explain uh, globally how it works, we have uh, here, we created an object in a uh, PO. We, we, in, uh, in, uh, how we call that? Uh, object programming. We created our object of your module, and here we select the, uh, the input. We have, we have the cell input, we put the value 1, and we have the 8 other inputs, we can change the inputs, and this is the expected, the expect, uh, means the expected output. The expected output we got here 1, for instance, uh, we can change and test the 5 inputs. 5, name it 4. We can put one here, for instance. Okay, one, and we expect to get one. Okay, let's compile. It's success. If we uh, try to see if it's working correctly, let's provoke uh, a false, uh, a false error, a false uh, return. Let's provoke an error. Yes, if we uh, provoke an error, we get an error, and we get this line indicating that. Uh, the circuit is not uh, uh, working properly. Anyway, it seems working properly. This is just an introduction uh, to what we can do with Chisel. Uh, at, at which uh, chapter? Which chapter are you reading now in the book? Maybe. Huh? You read the, the first chapter. You uh, you, re you read the, the, not, the uh, first chapter. Mm -hmm. not, uh, not yet, but uh, I studied this uh, chapter. Chapter one or chapter two? Chapter two, uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Who uh, concerning this this one? Did you uh, did you see the the the, uh, the boot camp? This is the boot camp. This is the right. yeah. Did you uh, did you see it? Did you practice it? Yes. Yes. Which part? B basic. The basic mm -hmm. first. Basic. To, to first. one. To two. Which one? Uh, uh, one. To one. This one. 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 This one. This is yes. this is excellent. I saw the. Uh, I uh, for for instance now I'm reading from the the boot camp rather than the book. The boot camp is uh, very simple. It's very simple. It's, it's not like the book. It's very simple, and it's yes, uh, it's, uh, easy. Uh, yes, it's very easy. And uh, personally, I prefer it uh, better than the book for now. For now, the book it's more elaborated. For now, we can try to use this one just to uh, to learn more about chisel and scale. Anyway. Uh, okay, uh, I don't know. Uh, we have to fix the next uh, session this week, inshallah. And uh, okay, the the, uh, the next uh, session, I will try uh, to explain uh, the architecture of the Megatron. I will dive uh, in the explanation of Megatron. Yes. Yes. This, this will be uh, one hundred percent. I will try to explain this. This is the uh, the microarchitecture, and we we'll try to explain each part. Of course, uh, you will need to have a good understanding of what is a combinational circuit, what is a sequential right. circuit. You have to understand that we we uh, we use it. Uh, we use them directly. Uh, I don't know uh, what's your what is your level of comprehension of a combinational circuit and, sequ and a sequential circuits. I don't know if you understand uh, really well what is a combinational circuit. Yeah, the port uh, gate. The gate. Logic gate. Yes, logic gate and combinational circuits. Combination. 
Yes, you have to uh, well understand that. You have to well understand. Yes. You, have, you have the course. Yes, you have the course. The, the definition, how the, uh, the, the, the more important is the behavior. Behavior, how a combinational circuit behaves, how it works, and how a combinational circuit works. Uh, for the, the generally, uh, the, sec, the, sec, the sequential circuits we, in this um, in our exam in our um, construction, the sequential circuit is all about memory. It's all about memory. Registers, counters, uh, RAM, ROM. You have to understand that. You don't need to dive into, for instance, in the course into the uh, how we call that the MIDI Moore and MIDI method you know that yes you heard about uh, you, don't, you don't need to understand that but you have to understand the core and the the proper working of the sequential circuit uh, anyway do you have questions mm, no but Okay, we uh, okay. We will stop here. That was good with uh, much better with uh, the microphone. The interaction is here. We can uh, yes, uh, better. Yes, we can talk. We can we can explain. We can interact. This is much better than uh, one-way talk. Like uh, talk without knowing what's happening. It's not uh, it's not very uh, productive. Anyway, I think I would stop here. If uh, if you have uh, any question, you're welcome, sir. Uh, yes. So uh, next next uh, session, uh, you study uh, Megatron. Yes, Megatron, the architecture. I will explain the architecture. I will explain the architecture. In the uh, same time, you have to uh, to master to understand to well understand what is a combinational circuit, what is a com what is a sequential circuit. How uh, at the same time you have to learn chisel, and the next time I will, uh, uh, next session I will explain. Uh, normally, the, the 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 explanation of the uh, the hardware will take more than one session. We'll take one or two okay. sessions. We will see. We'll see later. But we will, uh, normally, we'll uh, need two sessions to explain uh, in details. Uh, what is uh, Megatron and how it is uh, built? Yes. Other questions? No. Okay, thank Normally. you. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll continue the, uh, the next week, inshallah. Inshallah. Barak Lofi, Salam Alaikum. Fika Barak, Aishka, Sir.